All right, so yeah, uh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Addison. In today's video, it's going to be a continuation of our C tutorial. And so in our previous video, we looked at data types in C, and these are the basic data type that we looked at. We looked at the integer, the floating point number, double, and then the char or car, uh, depending on how you want to pronounce this. All right, so today we're going to look at the size of these data types. So in C, we can actually use the size of operator. It's a built-in operator that we can use to check the size of these data types. All right, so to do that, I'm going to take you to this file right here. So let me ls process.c. So I'm going to do pi process. Uh, dot c and then you can see we have our main function right here. Let me create a variable here called n and then we're going to print f for this and we can say that the size of n is and then we can then give that format specifier. The size of operator returns an unsigned long int. And so we should use the LU bytes um, with an S right that and then backward slash and quotation marks. And then we can use the size of operator here in all lower case, one word like that. And then inside the parentheses, it's an operator, by the way, not a function. And so inside here, we can then pass in the actual data type like int or the variable like n right in this case. So because we know this variable is of type integer and so it can also do it right here. Uh, and so with this, I'm then go on to compile and see how much bytes this occupies. For us to compile, we use GCC as our compiler and then to output this as proc and from the file process.c and then if i run this you can see no issues whatsoever if i ls you can see we have our proc right here and for us to run that proc we use a dot for slash and then we say proc and then hit enter you can see it says the size of n is four bytes which is exactly what we do have right here i'm on a 64-bit architecture and so my computer reserves four bytes for integers but if you are on a different architecture you might see two bytes it's possible all right um, the next one that we're going to look at is let me see float and double and then car so we could just go back to our file and then change this data type to a floating point number i'm just going to write float and then exit this and then recompile and then run that and you can see it says the size of any four bytes because for your floating point number again it's going to be four bytes like this and then let's move on to the next one which is double i'm going to use double right here and then exit this and then clear this and then recompile each time we make changes we have to recompile and then run our, our executable run that you can see it says the size of n is eight bytes because it happens that a double occupies eight bytes which is this right here and then let's look at the char or car and we can do the same go back to our file and then change this to char and then exit and then recompile and then run this you can see it says the size of n is one byte all right then the next question obviously is where can i apply this in the real world and so let's say you have an array an int array if let's say numbers like 10 30 45 23 13 15 and 17 you want to get the length of this array you could use size of the size of operator to get the length of this array so let's count the number of uh, elements in here is one two three four five six seven for now because there are not so many numbers or not so many elements in this we can manually and successfully count and, and get the length but let's say you had an array with billion elements you don't want to manually go one by one so you, you need a way to calculate this so you could use size of operator to to calculate the length of this and so here i'm going to say this length no longer the size length of the array is and we also use unsigned long int it's okay but it's no longer bytes we could use the, the the size of operator to do a mathematical calculation and so the size of this array is size of the individual element multiply by the number of elements that are in here c can calculate that so we say we have seven right so it's supposed to be seven by four which is 28 we can check that out um first let's check the size of the array itself and and let's see what we'll get and so 
I'm going to recompile this and then run this. You can see it says it's 28, right? But what we need is the length, right? We need the length. And so what we can do is we can divide this by the size of the individual element. So we can divide this by the size of the individual element happens to be an integer, by the way. So you could use an int right here, which is this int array. And so by doing this, if I am to recompile and run this now you can see the length of the array is seven so that's some kind of math that you can use with the size of operator to get the length of arrays and and this is one aspect where you could use the size of operator in your program so yeah i hope that was helpful if you find this video helpful leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing to the channel i hope to see you in my next tutorial for now i'm out Bye-bye.